Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, COVID. we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Week 15, baby. COVID. Oh, well, we got to throw a COVID joke in there. It's, no, it's just co- algorithm. It's a yeah, COVID. It's a, it's a highly searched term. You say it in the beginning of Trump, your videos. Biden. COVID. Trump, Biden, Fauci. Vaccine. <laughs> All right. I went 2-1 last week. Snacks also went 2-1 last week. I, I, we've been on par the last three weeks. I'll There's tell you what. been no movement. I'll tell you what. None. We've been pretty hot. We have passed have two weeks, I want to say. Yes. Maybe since Thanksgiving. Well, we went two and two the Thanksgiving week, but we, we threw in the extra over and it just... Yeah, but either way, they, that was a three and one week. We had right. two and one week now. Right. Either way, you got to be following our picks, especially mine, because I am 20... You're 10 games over, yeah. Four and 17. No, 27 no. and 27, 17. 17. And I'm 27 tw- and 17. And I have finally gotten over the hump. Yeah, wow, well, look at that. Finally. No longer a loser. Well, Congrats. listen, buddy, there's a long way to go. We don't stop after week 17. Just remember that so I wouldn't count your f-ing chickens yet, you dumb, stupid son of a bitch. I know, I know. Just we wait. The, we got the playoffs. We go all the way to the Super Bowl. The show does not end. It goes all the way to the Super Bowl. And the Pro Bowl, which is before the Super Bowl. <clears throat> Whatever. I'm not worried about it. You know what you should worry about? You should be worried about right here, right now, this pick I'm about to give. My first pick of the day. We're going with the Lions at the Titans, minus 10 and a half. We're taking the Titans. It's simple. I mean, yeah, I know it's a lot of points. I know it's a lot of points, 10 and a half, but Derrick Henry is a lot of man, okay? He's a lot of man, and Frank Ragnar has like a crack, fractured throat or whatever. I don't know if he's going to even play. Matt Stafford is only going to play because he's a really tough guy, but I don't even know if he's going to finish this game. Minus ten and a half. I get why this is a big line here. I get it. It's because of this. Those th- those things I just mentioned. Stafford is hurt. Ragnow is hurt. You got a center and a quarterback. Those are the two guys that hold the ball the most. They're both hurt. I don't know. Ten and a half. Derrick Dicey. Henry gonna ram it down their throats. No pun intended. Can I just ask one quick question? All right. So Titans minus ten and a half. Mm-hmm. Can I ask a question? You say it's simple, and then you go. <sighs> I'm almost positive in your last. It's simple. <sighs> bets, you're like 0-4. Well, I mean, I was just couldn't catch. I had to catch my breath. Well, you have to do that a lot. You stand up from the chair and you have to catch your breath. Listen, I'm role-playing as James Gandolfini, and this is not just like for the show. It's a life thing. Like, I'm trying to gain weight, trying to look. So you got the pinky ring. Got Like, come on. Eventually, the breathing heavy James Gandolfini would never have a tattoo showing. <laughs> Ever. And he'd never wear a scarf. It's not even true. He actually had a tattoo. Didn't he have like it? it yeah, he doesn't have it showing on camera. It does. If you watch the show, you know. Oh! You don't think I've watched you, the show? You watch the show. You don't you think I've watched the show? Anyway, Titans minus 10 and a half. Give us your pick. You're fraud. Like it. Ooh, fraud. Ooh, like that. Um, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take San Fran minus three at Dallas. Uh, Dallas coming off a very huge and inspirational win in Cincinnati. Um, yeah, Cincinnati. Uh, tough team. Very tough team. San Fran coming off a loss against Washington in which they turned the ball over five times. They only lost by eight. They should have probably won that game with ease if two, two of those turnovers are not turnovers, but they were, so that's football. San Fran's a better team, better defense. Um, Nick Mullins is probably on par with Andy Dalton, and Kyle Shanahan's a 20 million times better coach than Mike McCarthy, so three points to me is a steal. F*** the Cowboys. F*** Jerry Jones. Dak Prescott. I hope he's healing well. Actually, I don't really give a shit. F- Zeke, f- everything. San Fran minus three in Jerry World. They are still playing for something. I guess Dallas is too, but they're irrelevant. They're not America's team. They haven't won anything in 25 years. The fact that we call them America's team after 25 years of championship-less football is disgusting. I am so disgusted with it. They are literally calling America a loser because they keep calling this team America's team. Win something, then be it. San Fran, monster. All right. Uh, I like the over in that game, too. Me, too. 
All right, my second pick. We're taking uh, the Browns going to the Giants minus six, and we're taking the Browns. I, I'm not sure why this line is only minus six. I mean, I get the Browns' defense looks like shit against Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. I mean, they're not playing Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. They're playing Daniel Jones and the Giants. It looks so, like McCoy. Giants are done. They're big frauds. They're, everyone was chirping about them going to the playoffs. They're going to win the division. Like, who even cares? They've, they've, you've beaten only teams that have losing records. So That's like, not true. Whatever. Yeah, you, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just beat the Seahawks. Well, I'll give them factual information. Whatever. You have one good win under your belt. You're not going to beat the Browns. You're not even going to come close. You might score a touchdown. Browns minus six. Lock it in. It's easy. It's simple. It's the Browns. That is a atrocious pick. What else would you have said? I don't care what your opinion is on the Giants. The only no, no, no. I don't hear. There is no. no there is no. You, let me ask you something. Did you pick this game? No. Then don't talk about it because Let's you already pick. you already picked it. I don't Let's want. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to catch up to you. I'm Let's not going to pick the same game. Um, the only pick in that game is a money line game, a money line pick. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to tell you which way, but you know, if you know me, you probably have an idea. Uh, because that's a shock the world. Type of game. Anyway, I'm going to go to my second pick and a team that's playing in their Super Bowl this week. Who do we hate betting on the most? The Falcons. The Falcons. So what am I going to do? Bet on the Falcons? I'm going to bet on the Falcons. Plus six at home against Tampa Bay. I bet against the Falcons last week with the Chargers plus two and a half. That worked out. Atlanta was not interested in that game flying across the country when they're getting ready to go back home and try and spoil the division rivals season, their playoffs, everything. So that's what they're going to do this week. They're not going to spoil it. They're going to lose. But they're going to lose 24-20, and they're going to cover They're going to cover the six points. They're going to lose by less than six. Their defense under Raheem Morris has been very good. They don't score a lot, but their defense doesn't give up a lot. So, in that sense, six points is right on the ticker. It's on the snacks ticker. That's the the Mason Do. The what is it? The Mendoza line. The Mason Dixon line. It's right there. Falcons <laughs> plus six at home against the Bucks in their Super Bowl. Mason Dixon line. Like what? I think it's talking about like it's the it, the Mason Dixon line. Right. I put it up. It, uh, it's like in the, the like by Michigan, Minnesota. The Mason Dixon line. <laughs> Never heard that before. Is that like a th- something that I learned in school, maybe? The Mason Dixon line? Are you kidding me? I don't think that's a real thing. It's 100% a real thing. We'll have to find out. Hopefully, people will. I'm sure people are commenting like, you f***ing idiots. Like, blah, blah. Mason Dixon line. <laughs> well, maybe it's not Mason Dixon. I don't think Mendoza? it's Mason. I don't think it's Mendoza. Mendoza? Men- Mason Dixon? It's something. I don't know. I'm not a geography guy. Me neither. Not we a do, geography we, we just, guy. We just, we just give you know out NFL I am, bets. Though. Yeah, I get, I get, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a sharp. I'm a sharp. I was going to say I'm a gambler, but I'm a sharp. You're not a sharp. You know what else has been pretty sharp this year? The Big Dogs. Big Dogs' record, I believe, is like 9 and uh, 10 and 6 now. Or Yannick won and, last week. Yeah, we had another winner last week. So Didn't you even know, know the spread. That means it's time for the Big Dog Pick of the Week. Let's hear it from my man, Chucky. Hey, it's your boy Chucky Tweets, a.k.a. Chuck Diesel. And I'm here with the Big Lock of the Week. A couple weeks ago... uh I steered Animal in the wrong direction with Mitch Trubisky a week early. But uh, the lock of the week this week is going to be the Colts and uh, Quentin Nelson that big line just pounding the horrible defense of the Houston Texans. Give me the Colts this week. I love that man. I love him. He's a good guy. Let's hope his pick uh, a Colts. Great, a great minus follower. Seven. Great follower. Great pick. Listen, love it. I mean, you can say you love him. He's okay. I mean, he did steer me wrong uh, that one week with Mitch Trubisky and fantasy telling me to start him, and I uh, lost because of it. Hold on. Real quick. No, I really didn't. I lost by like 60, so it wouldn't matter. Is he on a fantasy football but podcast? I blamed him. Or are you? I don't know. you got to ask him. He might be. Well, if he is, I want to watch it. Because honestly, I, though, I love Chucky. Honestly, though, what do you think about this scarf? Obviously, like... I could tell you off the air if you really want. Oh, you hear that sound? I hear it. What is it? Oh, there it is again! I hear it. It's time for the big... Love! All right, baby. She's here. The big lock. Time for the big locks. 
I'm going to start us off. What do I got here? Oh, I got the team that f***ed me last week. The Chiefs. Gotta love that. At the Saints. Minus three. All right. They screwed me last week against the Dolphins. Yeah, that was dumb. What happened was, was they went up too big too fast. They should have covered that game three times over. And what happened was they got a little complacent towards the end. Let Miami sneak back in. But you know what? Saints are slipping. Saints are slipping. Minus three. I don't know why this is only minus three. They just lost to the Eagles. Shit team. The Saints lost to the Eagles. Now they're playing the Chiefs. The team that won the Super Bowl last year with Patrick Mahomes. So minus three. Chiefs are going to win this by a touchdown. Do you feel comfortable with the Chiefs winning by a touchdown? No. What do you mean? That's just, just my, that's just me. It's my big lock. I I know. My big locks haven't been that great. That's true. Yeah, well, see this? Yeah. This is chess. That could be checkers. No, it's chess. It could be checkers it's, though. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no! 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 There's pieces everywhere. I'm not supposed no! to keep cleaning this up, right? Hold on. I'll be a professional fish show. All right, Snacks, your pick. Cheese minus three. <laughs> I baited you. <laughs> I'm playing chess. I baited you. I'm playing chess. Everyone's playing checkers. Well, I think I may be the one playing chess and you checkers because I made you open the f-ing board up. <laughs> but I'm going to open up the board and go over. We're going to go over. Remember, remember, this is tonight's game. So you're watching it this morning, Saturday morning. I'm taking you over 49 and a half in a Buffalo and Denver game. <laughs> it's what I'm going to take. <laughs> pieces everywhere. There are pieces everywhere. <laughs> Buffalo's offense. Little let down against a great Pittsburgh defense last week. Denver's defense, not that great. Denver's riding off a high, scoring 32 points in Carolina. Buffalo's defense, known for their defense. They don't have a good defense. 49 and a half. 49 and a half. We're going over. Denver, Buffalo. 49 and a half. Big lock. Lock it in. Do it now. Because this is chess, not checkers. I honestly like the Broncos here, too. So do I. Just a heads up. But, uh, yeah, so uh, that's the show. i got to clean up these uh, test pieces. But uh, drop some of your locks in the comments they section. They never do. They do. They've been doing it. They yeah, have. Very been. little. You know what happened is the exact week you said for them to do it, they did, and you like, didn't comment on any of them and like, say like, thanks or nothing. Which game was it? Which Giants game was it? I was probably out of commission. It's possible, but there's this yeah. thing called the morning and the entire day before. But uh, no. Show comes out Saturday morning. Whatever. Please like. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks Thank a lot. Bagels and locks? <laughs>